in windows say you want to install an application what would you do obviously you would download the executable file of that application and install it with admin privileges or a less common option in windows is to open the microsoft store application and install the required package from there similarly in linux you can either download the package and install it or open the store application search for the package and install it from there either way just like windows you have to install it with admin privileges in linux we call these as root privileges in the previous video we even made a separate root partition while installing fedora so what is root for that let's have a look at the directory structure in linux so we have created a user while installing the os whenever we log in into the linux os we land in a home directory which is owned by that particular user that is you you have some default directories like documents pictures videos so on just like in windows since you are the owner of your home directory within this you can create edit delete files and directories as required now let's say we have created another user called anvi that user will also have their own directories and files in their home directory but when you are logged in as the main user will you be able to manage files and directories of the new user no you won't be having permissions to manage other users content these home directories are child directories of a main directory called root it is a top level directory denoted by the forward slash character and it has many other directories along with home so if you want to write the full path of the current users home directory it is like forward slash home slash and then the username like i said earlier as such you can't access most of the directories without root privileges further if you want to update the system or install a package and make it accessible to other users you need to be a root user by default a root user is created while installing the os itself and generally without any password but this account is locked so if a non root user wants to access root they need special privileges and unlock it with a password but which password this is where sudo comes in short for super user do or substitute user do sudo allows a user to use their account's password to unlock the root content however the user should be in the sudo words list as you are the main user by default your account is added to the sudo words list so to perform any root action we have to use the sudo command the first thing we can do after installing a linux os is updating the packages this can be done by using the package management system of the installed linux os fedora has dnf as its package management system whereas ubuntu has apt and since the process of updating is related to the whole system and not a specific user we have to use sudo there are numerous online resources available to guide you through the initial setup and configuration you can visit its first or hackingthehike.com sites for articles on post installation setup either for ubuntu or fedora in this video we will pick a few steps from each of these sites and set up our fedora system but before running the update command in fedora we will modify the dnf configuration file for faster downloads by default dnf downloads three packages at a time we will change that to 10 and tell it to use the fastest available download mirror to do that we have to edit a file called dnf.com this is not in our home directory and it is a system file so we have to use sudo to open it and it is a text file so we can use any text editor to open it here we will use vi a terminal based text editor if we check the root directory we will find a directory called etc in that we have dnf and within that directory we have the dnf.config file as you can see we need elevated privileges to open that file so let's open a terminal window and see what happens if we don't use sudo so type vi space forward slash denoting the root etc slash dnf slash dnf.com it opens in read only mode press i for edit mode and try to add something and save it press escape to exit the edit mode and type colon wq to write to it as you can see you can't write anything to that file so quit vi by typing colon q exclamation mark then add sudo to the previous command 
Now you can write to this file. You can check DNF5 read the docs page to see what all options are available to configure the DNF. We will use three of those options. Max parallel downloads. Fastest mirror. Delta RPM. After that, save the file, close and reopen the terminal window and update the system packages by typing sudo dnf update. Make a note that it is searching packages in these repos. While downloading, you should see 10 packages are being downloaded simultaneously. Restart your system either by clicking the restart option from the top right menu or by simply typing reboot in the terminal or by typing systemctl reboot. Now in the grub menu, we can see there are two kernels listed for Fedora. By default, Fedora saves up to three kernels and removes the oldest one if a newer version is installed. This is useful because if you face an issue with the latest kernel, you can boot with any of the older working kernels. After rebooting, head over to the RPM Fusion and add their repos so that we can get access to a wide range of applications. Then run sudo dnf update with refresh flag. Now you can see that dnf is searching in rpm fusion repos as well. Then run the following commands. After that, install a few multimedia related packages. Now if you want to install a package with dnf, you can just type sudo dnf install and the package name. Or you can search the software center and install it from there. Let's install a few more useful applications. So with the dnf install command, you can install multiple packages in one go if you know the names of the packages. Changing hostname is optional. This is more useful when dealing with many systems in a network. If you want to change it, head over to the settings and change from there. Usually, I prefer it to be device name dot network name like tough dot lab. So if there is another device connected in the same network, I would name it as workstation dot lab. As of now, I am changing it to tough. Restart your terminal and it should have the new host name. Now 
By default, Fedora enforces SC Linux for security purposes. It is a bit stringy and sometimes keeps obstructing our access to files and packages. So we will disable it by editing the SC Linux configuration file. You can check the status by typing SC status in the terminal. To change the mode, we will open the SC Linux file with Vim and modify the line saying SC Linux is equal to enforcing to SC Linux is equal to disabled. Reboot and check the status. GNOME file manager doesn't distinguish files and folders while sorting. All are arranged alphabetically. To change this behavior, open preferences and check the sort folders before files option. You might have observed that if we want to create a new document like a text file, data sheet or a slide, there is no such option in the right click menu. To get that option, we may have to add corresponding empty files in the templates directory. If you have an NVIDIA card, you may have to run these commands to install these drivers. These are a few minor tweaks we may have to perform after installing Linux OS. In the next video, we will see how to customize the look.